Hi there, my name is Jessica and today I'll be talking to you about how to fold a letter in the Regency period Jane Austen style. So as you might know already, I'm a huge, huge Jane Austen fan. There's something so romantic and so elegant about the Regency period and every time when I finish one of her books, I have this overwhelming need to wear beautiful long flowing dresses, to learn how to play the pianoforte and to write more letters. So today I will be showing you how to fold a letter in the Regency period Jane Austen style. So before I start this tutorial, I think it would be quite useful to talk about letter writing in general in the Regency period. Uh, the Regency period is between 1811 to 1820 and during this time it was actually um, really really expensive to send the letter. Um, the cost of postage could be as high as a day's wages for a working man. And this is the reason why an envelope was not usually used because an envelope would have uh, would be treated as a digital sheet of paper and this would have uh, doubled the cost of postage. Uh, so in effect, they did everything that they could to fit a letter on one sheet of paper. And they were actually really, really creative in doing so. And I'll talk to you about this later on in the video. Uh, yeah, so one sheet of paper was used um, as uh, the letter and also the envelope. The first way that I'll show you of folding a letter is uh, the more traditional way and is actually one of the ways that Jane Austen herself used. The simple and practical way to fold a letter is from the young man's best companion and guide to useful knowledge from 1815. Firstly, a sheet of paper is folded in half. You then write on the succeeding three pages. So this is the first page, the second page, the third page and the fourth page is left empty. Um, the blank fourth page becomes the outside of the letter where the, where the address is written and the letter is sealed. Here is a sample letter. This is the first page, second, third and the blank fourth page where you write the address. So, so this is the first page. You have the open edge to your right. Firstly, fold the bottom flap up to about the center of the page. About here. So I've, I've, I made a little dent here already. So that kind of guide me a bit. About here. And then fold the top edge to meet it. Fold the left side until it's about three centimeters away from this edge. So three centimeters, which is about here. So, so this paper is a little bit thicker than printing paper, so it's a little bit more difficult to fold. But it doesn't matter too much. And then you fold down this top flap. So make sure don't don't fold it down. Don't fold it here. Fold it a little bit away from that edge. Yeah. So you could you could actually just affix a seal here, but I think it looks better if you fold um, if you tuck in this bottom flap into this top flap here. This is the final envelope and I'm going to put um, some sealing wax on it now. Um, I'm going to use some wax sticks because it is uh, more traditional looking um, and I think I'll opt for the more darker red colour. And this is my sealing stamps. Uh, I do have a J initial, but I think it's a little bit too small, actually, to put on here. So um, I think something a bit bigger would look better. And I have an envelope design, uh, not so traditional looking, but I'm sure it'll look really good. Okay, so let's see. I don't usually use a, a stick of wax, so it might get a little bit messy.
this is the final letter. Uh, you can see the impression isn't the neatest, but it still looks pretty cool. And then um, all you need to do now is write the address here. Previously, I said before um, that people are really creative in utilizing one sheet of paper and making sure that um, one sheet of paper was enough to write what they needed to say. And Jane Austen herself was actually uh, a lover of writing long letters. She loved writing long letters and when she ran out of space, um, she would actually write on these flaps here. Yeah, so these flaps here. And if she still needed more space, then she would cross letters. So cross her letters. Um, so this means she would turn her page 90 degrees and then write directly on top of the already written page. And um, here's an example of a cross letter from, uh, from Jane Austen. This is a good way to fold a letter if you have a lot to write, but if you don't, then here are some more alternative ways of folding a letter. So imagine you've written your letter on this uh, side of the page, so here. Turn it and then fold the left side to about the center. So I've made a little dent here, so just to help me signify where the center of the page is. So it's around here then. Fold it here, fold it center. And then fold the right side also to center to meet it. Then fold the bottom edge to about here. And then fold this bottom, uh, the flop, top flap down. So don't fold it from here, fold it a little bit away from the edge. So down here will do. And like before, tuck this bottom flap into the top flap. Like so. And we can put another stamp uh, here. So the impression is nice and clear, but the wax is a bit messy. But I think um, that's one of the one of the main reasons why I enjoy using a stick of wax because you never know how the wax will drip. So it does look pretty special. The next way of folding a letter will produce a, a smaller folded letter. It won't be as small as this, but um, it will be smaller than the last way that I showed you. Okay, so imagine your letter is written on this side and now you want to do like a little slight dent to the middle here. Like before, fold um, the left side down. Then meet then the right side as well to the center. Now fold the top flap up about here. So that is about that's about eight centimeters, yeah. Then fold it up again. And you fold this is uh, you can fold this flap down here. So again, like this. You could just leave um, it like this and fix your sewing stamp here or a sticker or whatever you want to use, you can fix it here. But I generally like to tuck this in. So I'll tuck this in here and I'm going to put some sealing wax here.
This is the final impression. Oh, this is actually a little bit neater than the other ones. Really happy with that. So this is it. These, uh, this, these are three um, letters folded in the style of the Regency period. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any video suggestions, let me know and I'll be happy uh, to make them. Thank you.